So, nice to meet you. My name is Madhu. Miles, nice Miles, to meet you. Miles, nice to meet you as well. So, what did you think about the game today at Road Hill? Yeah, it was it was an exciting game, better than a plus 20 or a plus 30 game. And, I mean, both teams gave it all. But, I mean, it's difficult coming in here for the Berlin Braves to to, to win a game in, in, in a foreign uh, atmosphere. But I think, just, I think, to, to be honest, in the, in the second half, the the Merndorf, the Dragons wanted it more and they, they played their best defensive half of the season. They gave sure. up 21 points. Yeah. And Kozmiakin, who I, who I lauded a lot in the, in the broadcast, I said how great he is, he couldn't do anything. Yeah. And I mean, he's like, for me, he was the, the, the X factor. In the first half, he was great, but in the second half, on ball defense was very strong. Mm. And yeah. So. And what do you think the vibe is now at Rondorf? I mean, you've been covering them all season, I guess. So I, This is my eighth season. Eighth I've season, been nice. covering them, so um, I've been covering Frankfurt for 20. Cool. So a lot, of, a lot of times the teams kind of overlap. Like today, there was a Pro-A game. I, I couldn't be there. Yeah. But on Friday is, is the first final game. I'll be in Frankfurt for game four. So I kind of switch off between teams. So mm. the vibe is great here. I mean, you saw it. I yeah, mean, definitely. The, the, the gym was full and um, it was a great atmosphere. Mm. And what do you think about the scene, like German basketball? I'm, I'm also from the States. Yeah. You're from the States yeah, as well. Yeah. So well, I've been lived here for a while. 20 plus years. So Amazing. I mean, I've seen the, the game grow here. The, the enthusiasm is big. Um, it's grown. We've got like seven guys in the NBA now mm -hmm. that are Germans. So it's growing, but then again, not growing enough because even though they won a World Cup, mm -hmm. you don't really see so much progress for some reason. I mean, you don't really have a have it on free TV. You got the NBA, but you don't really have the the, the BBL in free TV. Sure, sure. So that's that's kind of a, a, a low point. And do you think there's something that you know different teams or clubs can do to kind of help influence this, or is it? It's you know, difficult deep, to say. Yeah. It just you just need you just need to have exposure on free TV. Sure. That's going to get more fans. You know, you got you got the diehard fans, but you're not going to get you're not going to get more people, way more people, if you're just going to have it in the internet. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely. And what do you think about the prospects for playing against Cologne in the final? How are you feeling about it? Do you think it's, uh, it's looking good? Well, it's it's a two game series where you got to take the the points. Advantage, yeah. Um, I guess, obviously, if the Rundorf doesn't have a good game here, it could be over already going to Cologne. But I think it could be a very interesting uh, series. I think Cologne is the favorite. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit deeper than Rundorf, but I think if Rundorf can defend the way they did Man. in the second half, yeah. they can have chances. Yeah, yeah, and I definitely was amazed by the way they defended us today and also in the previous match as well. Um, who do you think were like the standout players on the team and what do you think about them going forward? Cologne. To um, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of good players. Rupert Hennen, Brian Battle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and for Rundorf, I think same. A lot. Both teams have you know have so many weapons. I mean, any team on a good day can 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 win. So sure. it Ro would be a very interesting series. Yeah, but Rundorf is going to win, you think? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I want Rundorf yeah, to sure. win, <laughs> but uh, difficult to say. I, I, I can imagine Cologne winning it, yes. Mm -hmm. I th cool. they, they have, they're the slight favorite. Mm -hmm. And did you enjoy you know, doing the live stream this year? And oh, like I love doing the live stream. Well. It's my life. I mean, yeah. this is my 20th season as a, as a, as a, ba a basketball broadcaster. And I began in radio, mm -hmm. and then it went to web radio, uh, cool. and then it went to the, the, the live stream in 2012, I think I wow. began. So I've been doing it my, my, for 20 years now. So. Wow and just keep going. I love doing it and it's, it's my passion. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure you've seen a lot of great players come, come oh, and go. Oh yes, and definitely. I saw in this arena, yeah. I've seen many, many people and, and many great players, young players. I like doing, I like doing the, the kids, mm -hmm. the, the NB, NBBL, ah, yeah, NBBL yeah, JBBL sure. top four I just did in Berlin. Nice. That was my sixth time in a row that I did the top four and I love doing it. And like uh, six years ago, I saw Franz Wagner. Oh, nice. He was a rookie yeah. or he was a 16 year old. And then the last three years, he's been with Orlando. Yeah. I saw, I saw Isaiah Hartenstein. Oh, he's nice. a big time player for the New York Knicks. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen many young players uh, reach their, their ultimate goal. Mm. And we were very impressed by your guys' setup here behind us and stuff. Yeah. Any uh, advice you'd give to young teams starting to broadcast as well? Well, I'm any, not really in charge <laughs> for, the, for the technic technical okay. things. I just do the play-by-play. -play, but nice. 
I guess you have to have some money in the budget. <laughs> and but I think I think you guys, the Braves, has a live stream, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. They yeah. do it also. Hey, we've done we've done a great job this season. I shout couldn't. Out to, I couldn't. Shout out to our boys back home. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I couldn't really I couldn't catch the game the last game, but. I'll look into it uh, in the next season. Definitely, definitely. But it's great that, that more teams are doing it. Yeah. In the Pro B. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the time, Miles. Thank it's you. It's been a pleasure. For, for interviewing me. It's yeah. a pleasure. And uh, all the best for a very ambitious organization. And let me say, I really, I like the coach, Ahmad Chatzai, who I obviously have known for more than 10 sure. years. I covered him years when he was still a player. So he's a, he's a, he's a little player, but with the biggest Big heart. energy. Yeah. The biggest heart Definitely. and the biggest energy. Definitely. I love watching him play, and he's exactly the right coach for you guys. Uh, so all the best to the Berlin Braves. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.